What's going on, guys? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. I've got another MMA update for you. As some of you know, I started posting my progress on training for a MMA cage fight <clears throat> about a year ago now. And I believe in April, coming up here, April 2024, it'll mark about one year since I started uh, training MMA, like specifically. I've done jujitsu for a long time. I've done Muay Thai. I've done, obviously, other things. But this will be about one year since I joined our amateur fight team and started training strictly MMA. I decided to take the gi off, put it away in the freaking closet, and only do what's necessary for me to actually get a fight and actually be ready enough to fight. As you can tell, I've got a bit of a black eye here. I have been fighting every single day uh, <laughs> for a while now, and it's boosted me. I can't tell you the progress that I've made in my wrestling, the progress that I've made in my jujitsu, in my striking. I feel like a new man. And I've had, speaking of the black eye, like so many injuries over the past year, it's been absurd. And I've gotten to the point now where I'm almost so hard into it, like I just train through them. And unless it's something that keeps me from actually going into the, physically like going into the gym, I just keep fighting. And um, I feel myself becoming a savage fucking beast. And it's amazing. And um, like I say, my wrestling, I've never wrestled. Uh, always wrestling and takedowns was something very, very hard for me. But I'm coming along. I'm nowhere near ready. My wrestling is the thing that needs improving. And um, since I started actually wrestling, and I do dedicated wrestling for MMA training with striking, oh my gosh, I, I feel incredible i really do and i feel like i'm getting so ready for it i haven't felt this encouraged for a long time you know when i first came on here about a year ago there was some discouragements i had setbacks i had injuries i had coaches telling me like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> and now i'm finally at a place where i'm just grinding i'm just grinding and um i'm keeping the weight off you know i've gone up and down by about five pounds uh, here and there, and I'm sitting here actually eating my my prepared meals, and they got the calorie count right on them. I average about 500 calories per meal, and then snacks in between. So I'm really I'm watching my calories, but I'm also burning a lot of calories. So the weight is about 190, 189 right now, and uh, I'm gonna try to stay around there um, so that when I do fight, I'll fight around 185. I Cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate all the support that you have given me thus far. It's been incredible. And you guys know that I have physical setbacks that really fuck me up when it comes to like fighting in general, but especially fighting someone that's highly trained too. Uh, my kyphosis and my back, you guys know I have a fucking round ass like back. Uh, you call me a hunchback, I'll fucking hurt you. I promise. That's the one rule I have. Um, and I've always had, and I've gotten into some scraps in the past because of it, but um, I, I know I have it and it's just something I have to deal with, but it, it holds me back um, physically, like with, you know, training certain takedowns and stuff like that. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm so determined. I'm just going to do what I have to do and make it work. And you guys out there who have seen me and encouraged me and been like, dude, like, just go for it. You're good. You got it. Oh my gosh, like that means a lot to me. Um, the weights, I'm staying with the weights, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm not bodybuilding. I'll tell you that. Like you look at my arms, like they're, they're definitely look like fighters arms. They're not big. Like sometimes they have been in the past. Um, so I'm happy though. My cardio, it's okay. My training routine right now is five days a week. Um, Monday is MMA wrestling. Tuesday is stand-up sparring. Wednesday is MMA wrestling. Thursday is technique and pad work stand-up and some light sparring sometimes. And then Friday is MMA wrestling. So I also teach. I teach on the weekends. I give private lessons on Sundays usually, and I'll do my um, combatives class that I that I put on on, uh, on Sat Saturday. So I'm like living in this stuff right now. I'm I'm feeling um constantly sore but happy. 
happy about it. You know, the warrior's life is the life that I really do love. So I want to encourage you guys out there. If you, if you have a dream, you know, like <laughs> chase it, chase it, because I'll be honest with you, chasing the dream sometimes is even better than actually getting it right. And we'll see what happens when I step into that ring. Maybe I get my ass pounded into the cage, but I really don't think so. I'm going to put up a hell of a fight against whoever it is. And being 37 years old, probably 38, 39, or maybe even uh, by the time I actually step in the cage, more than likely around next year, 38, um, I don't know who the fuck I'm going to be fighting. It could be a black belt, a jujitsu black belt. It could be a guy who's had a few fights already. I don't know. But whoever the fuck it is, I'm going to knock him out. And if I don't knock him out or sub him, I'm going to give him a fucking hell of a fight. So strength and honor, guys. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for checking in on me. And thanks for all the all the positive positivity that you guys put my way because it comes right back at you. I love you guys. I really do. Till next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you on one of our next videos, guys. Cheers, guys.